Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at PA speakers, not guitars or anything like that. But as a gigging musician, I do use the PA system, as many people do in that line of work. So um, I've had to go and get some new PA speakers uh, because of my function band uh, now progressing into the wedding market and function market. We needed something with a bit more clout, uh, a bit better than the uh, Yamaha 400i stage bar I've been using for the last ooh, 12 years or whatever. So I had my eye on these Bayringer. Uh, D112 DSP powered speakers. So this is a little bit of an unboxing and an unbagging. There you go. You can see the speaker there in all its glory. Very pretty and very well made. Not too heavy, but we'll get into the specs a little bit in a second. Very, very reasonable price and very well made. I mean, very rugged, plastic, um, big metal grill. And I feel they look professional uh, a bit better than previous uh, bay ringer speakers um these look and feel a bit more quality um and there's the powered mixer in the back so let's uh, get these flicked on and i'll take you through all the bits and bobs um yeah sit tight here it comes right let's power them up push that button there all right when it comes you've got the makes a nice little noise. You've got the Bluetooth here, so you can turn that on and off, which is really handy. You've also got an auxiliary in, which is also very handy. And then you've got an XLR output. So you've got a two channel mixer. So you can literally just go straight into this. Uh, for an acoustic gig, for instance, I could just put the microphone in there, acoustic guitar in there, and you've got all this built in stuff as well. So I did find, These pots are a little crackly, you can hear that, uh, and wobbly. So that's your master volume here. Uh, these are very loud, I've got to say. So you've got the different modes, so you push this here, it takes you into the menu. Uh, you've got DJ or live, and you can uh, choose the location, so you can go to normal or set it as a monitor. Kill. And then you've got uh, EQ, so you've got your basic low, mid, high frequencies there. And sub, we, I'm not using a sub. And then you can set a delay as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, LED mode off, LED dim. You can set the brightness of the, uh, the LED, I suppose. Um, off, on, yeah, take it down, brightness. All right, so you can set the, I don't know why you would. So coming down off of that, reset it all, info, exit. Go back in. So you've got the EQ. And that's about it, really. That's your menu. And that's basically it. Um, it's a big old uh, uh, power amp in there with the heat sink. They don't get that hot. I didn't find they got that hot at all. Very easy to use, very easy to set up. Right, the Bluetooth's dead easy. I found the Bluetooth really good on these, actually. I used these uh, speakers at a gig the other night uh, doing a DJ set, and I just um, put on some Amazon uh, music and stuff using the Bluetooth, and it worked an absolute treat. So on the Bluetooth, it just comes up like that, connecting, and it goes ding dong, and that's it. And it connects every time really, really quickly. Let's play some of my music. Obviously, I'll have to play some of my music. So let's have a look. Um, you're not going to get a full representation of what it sounds like, obviously, because we're in the studio and just using phone microphone. Let's just get off. And here they are, 199.99. I didn't get them from here, but it was about the same price. Um, I bought two of them, 
Uh, you could get away with one, to be honest. They're very, very loud at 1,200 watts um, with the dedicated DSP, which we've looked at, and all of that. Class D amplification. 12-inch uh, speaker in there. They are built like tanks. They really are. The build quality, I'm really impressed with. Big metal grill on the front. Great big chunky handles on the side and on the top. Big, you know, thick plastic. Um, brilliant. You know, they're going to they're gonna stand up to being thrown around and stuff. Definitely, I feel. Um, I used them in two gigs at the weekend. One was an acoustic gig uh, with a DJ set, so that was a good test for it. Um, sounded great with the acoustic guitar. I used the mixer. I used my Yamaha Stage Par 400i mixer into these, coming out of the monitor out, obviously, because you don't want to be putting a powered mixer into a powered uh, speaker. Um, sounded absolutely amazing. And when I did the DJ set, like I said, I just used my Bluetooth and we had some bangers banging out really really good bass really good sound all round filled the venue really well really impressed and for that money it's a winner winner chicken dinner in my opinion um so yeah i do highly recommend these if you're looking for something affordable yeah i mean and they're pretty too they, they look good you know they they look the business um and i did just it doesn't tell you what they weigh on here but i did uh, just run in and weigh them uh one of them and it's about coming about 16 kilo so not over heavy that is the dr112 dsp by bayringer and there you have it folks i thought i'd just uh, share that with you um, in case you are in the market for some new speakers um then i do recommend these uh do please like comment and subscribe it helps me out in a big way trying to get the 10,000 subs as soon as possible and go and listen to my music it's everywhere uh, I have lots of new singles out um, and some big news coming soon uh, and soon we'll have a new EP out but there is some s new music out there you can go and listen to on all the usual places like the Spotify and the iTunes and all of that stuff anyway. Uh, not much more left to say except peace. Till next time, here's the jingle. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show Hit like and comment and get involved if you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.